What I'm holding in my hand is a, basically it's a model of a molecule. And why do I need a molecule since I'm a lawyer and I was a history major for heaven's sake? Well, this part of the molecule is what the breath machine is looking for. And when the machine turns its light on and starts with an intensity level that's known to the device, and then as the light passes through the chamber and is read on the other side, if the intensity is reduced, that's going to convert to a number. Because all it's doing is looking at light intensity at one place, like looking at light intensity on the other and saying that's the number. It could be a 0 .10, 0 .20, 0 0.30, whatever it says. Now the thing of it is, is that their breath, as opposed to taking a blood test, you get a lot of things in your breath. Some people who are diabetics or who have hypoglycemia, people who've been around chemicals at work, such as toluene, methyl ethyl ketone. There are many, many, many chemicals that share this same molecule. In fact, this is acetone, and it has two of these. So if you're in a situation where you've been around these chemicals, or you have diabetes, or if you have hypoglycemia, you can actually get a false high reading on this machine, and it can't distinguish between ethanol, which is what they're trying to catch, and other chemicals that can also be in your breath. So. If you have any type of exposure or a health condition that can create these problems, you need to tell your attorney and you need to tell one who understands how to fight the breath machine.